Well, hello, my friends. I am so glad that you pressed the play button and decided to spend these couple minutes with me. I wanted to start a new year with some 2023 reset goals, some vision boards, and what my intentions are for my life in the next year. I don't typically, well, I shouldn't say I don't typically, over the past few years I have set resolutions, but this year I've decided that that might not be necessarily the way I want to go. Um, I am hosting a motivational accountability group and the res resolution for that, for the year for that group is you so we are working on ourselves so, so that's kind of the only resolution that I have is to focus on myself I do like to set my set goals and within so I have like the main goals that I want to set and then within those goals I break them down and create little goals this year if you have watched my planner lineup I did purchase a daily grand planner it is an Angie Belmar planner and I am going to strictly be using this planner for my goal settings she does have a pretty good system going in the planner where you set your top goals for the month and the way I had um, planned out my top goals for the month is based on where I want to be at the end of the year and the little steps each month that I have to take to reach those goals. Now those um, top 10 goals for the month are also broken down to top 10 to do's every single day in order to co uh, complete those <laughs> goals. As you can see, he's dancing around trying to figure out the best spot to lay down. I wish I had a better backdrop for you guys in the back, but I am in my basement office and unfortunately it is unfinished. So you have the nice um, insulation wall there maybe one day i will have a nice wall maybe that's a goal i should be working towards so anyway so yes so those that's how i broke it up now some of the goals that i have obviously i'm going to go through them and i'm going to also share with you how i broke them down to monthly and daily accomplish to accomplish those goals so what my top goal for every year is my health now when i say my health yes of course i want to lose weight but that is not my main goal my main goal is how i feel i have gone through so many years of just feeling sluggish my lower back being in a huge pain and all this stuff and one thing that helped me is working out and I have been consistently working out since 2019 and the changes that I have seen in my physical well-being are huge. So that is my goal for the year is to move my body every single day. That whether it's walking, weightlifting, going on my bike, treadmill, elliptical, whatever, as long as I'm moving my body for 30 minutes every single day. So I had, um, I do beach body. I am a beach body coach as well. So what I like to do is pick programs. But one thing that when I originally started way back, when I started the beach body, I had like in my mind, I have to do this. I have to do every single, you know, if I'm going to do 21 day fix, I have to do it every single day. I can't miss a day and blah, blah, blah. And I put too much pressure on me. I have a very relaxed approach towards my workout programs. I love them. I love following a workout program. But if I wake up in the morning and I do not feel like doing leg work, I will choose something else to do, go for a walk, pick a different program or do something. I am not putting that pressure of completing a program. That is only if I want to, will I complete a program. I will also start a program. And if I absolutely hate it, I will move on and do another program. I will do this before I get myself so miserable that I don't want to get up in the morning and work out because I'm dreading what I'm supposed to be doing. So I think this has helped tremendously in sticking with the workouts is not putting that pressure on that I have to do something. No, I'm going to do what I feel like doing. And definitely uh, mindset over 
motivation comes into play as well when it comes to working out. So um, and just having that right type of mindset, which brings me to another thing is mindset. I, this is something that I have been working on very hard for couple years now just being a more positive having a more positive mindset i do believe that i come from a very negative um upbringing not necessarily like that bad upbringing but it's always mine always goes to negative it's always negative thinking and all this stuff and i'm really trying to change that i'm really trying to change it for myself and i really want to change how my kids think too so this is something that we're working and so having a positive mindset is another goal of mine and the way i'm going to try and achieve that is by um just reading um positive pot kind of um positive thinking books uh, personal development books that made me think positive um there's also um meditation and also affirmations daily affirmations so i do meditate and do daily affirmations every single morning and i want to continue that i think that's going to be uh one step of uh, getting a positive mindset and then also with that i want to um create uh i have Another goal of mine is to to read 24 books. Now, 24 books for the year are 12 are fictional uh, books that I'm going to be reading before I go to bed, kind of fun reads. And then 12 are self-help books, self-development books. So that is what I'm going to be using my Audible for, is to listen to those. I like to listen to those while I'm cleaning, doing my morning, evening routines or whatnot, just, you know, get it out. And I listen to it on a time and a half speed so I get through them a little bit quicker. Um, I have tons of recommendations. I have done tons of books. If that's something that you want to see, let me know, know down below and I, I'll have a lot of recommendations for fun, read, fun reading as well. So if that's a type of video you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. So that I have kind of covered three, uh, three goals there for the year, the books, the mindset, um, and then the health. Now, um, another health one that I want to work on is skincare, being more proactive with my skincare. Um, I am so lazy at night and I just don't, sometimes don't even feel like taking my makeup. So that is something that I want to concentrate daily on doing um, and another thing that I'm adding to my workout is I want to do stretching every night before bed this is five minutes seven minutes stretching just to loosen up my body so I can get a better night's sleep so that that along with skincare I kind of want to combine that and work on that every single night um, for so that's my kind of um, personal goal for um, for the year and the month and the per day so um so i did the books uh and then now i'm going to go into a little bit of uh, my business so i have several youtube channels this is my fun kind of a channel that i share everything that i want to share um the with youtube being uh, very niche oriented i had to separate my original channel into several different ones if i wanted to continue sharing all the things that i want to share so i have a diy home and a cooking channel and then this one is dedicated to daily vlogging sharing things with you that you know i want to share that i could not maybe share on those channels because youtube doesn't like that so um i I have certain numbers that I want to achieve for each channel and I had taken that number broken up per month and then I broken down broken down per um, daily and weekly how I, to achieve my goals I have also developed a YouTube checklist that I'm going to be actually putting it on my I've decided to put it on my Etsy store or no I'm yeah probably on the Etsy store or you could get it if you sign up for my blog. Speaking of blog, I do want to um, blog a little bit more than I did last year. I think that's one area where I lacked last year is I neglected my blog. So I want to get back into blogging a little bit on more, more consistent 
basis. And then another, obviously with the YouTube, Instagram growth and TikTok growth and all that stuff, Facebook growth comes with it. So it's all kind of, um, I have numbers and certain specific checklists that I have developed that I want to go through to achieving those goals. And then another um, part of my business back in September of 2022, like I mentioned, I had become a beach co beach body beach co beach body coach. That is not a fitness instructor; it is a health motivational coach, and um, I have actually had some success with it so far. I think um, more than I had anticipated, and I want to keep that going. So um, there's certain amount of customers that I want to gain uh, every month, and I want to have the, the best possible groups running as I can so that that a lot of work goes into those so um, that's one of the things that I'm going to be working towards um, is since I already signed up might as well put my best foot forward and really try and make it work so if you are interested in any of it there is a link down below that you can fill out and I can send you any information that you would like to know and then one other goal that I have for this year is nutrition. Um, I love to eat and I love to eat good food. So I want to elevate my cooking. Um, so I want to try new recipes. So I'm going to be trying new recipes weekly. And that's kind of my goal towards cooking more and also not have been bored with food. Um, I, I do love to cook, so that it's not a big problem. But I do find myself getting into these runs where I just don't want to cook because I'm so sick and tired of, of the food that I'm making. So I think trying out different recipes will definitely help me come out of that a little bit more. And I will be sharing some of those recipes on my cooking channel as well well so that's another goal now I have several different vision boards I will show you the one I have on the wall which is this and here I just kind of stick pictures that I've printed off cut out of out of magazines or whatnot and then I have certain numbers that I only know what they mean and then I stick them on but I also have created my health and fitness vision board i did this last year and it pretty much kind of stays the same so i had made it so it fits into my happy planner and i think um i'm not sure if i have a video i will see if i have a video from last year when i created that it's just certain things where i want to see myself now, when I do vision boards, this is not necessarily a vision board for next year or anything like that. It's just I have I have my vision board separated to um, where I would like to see myself in five years, ten years. And then I also have a section for for the, just this year. So it's kind of because, you know, yearly goals come help you achieve your maybe five year goal or your ten year goal. So it. I like to, to separate it like that to kind of have a bigger picture as to where I'm going in life. And then I was think, thinking, but I'm not sure if I want to do it. Right now, my screensavers are, is my dog that passed away. So I don't know if I want to necessarily replace that with a vision board. So, but if I were to decide to do a vision board, I'd probably make one in Canva and just use, um, I do have, I do sign up for Canva because I use it for my thumbnails and my husband uses it for business. So it's well worth for us to sign up. So there's a ton of stock images on Canva that I could use to create that, to make it a desktop um, screen. So I'm not quite sure if I want to go do that, but if I do, that's probably how I'm going to go do it. So I already shared with you guys all of my planners that I'm using this year to help me achieve my goals. Um, I love to plan. I love to write things down. So make sure you check that video out. Um, I don't share financial goals here because that's something that's between my husband and I and that we're working towards. So, um, you know that's completely separate topic and I don't like to go into that. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that do. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you go um, check those out. And this year is the first year that I haven't picked a word for the year either because 
I just felt like last couple of years, the, you know, the words that I picked out weren't necessarily what I followed through with. So this year I don't have a word. <laughs> My word is no word for this year. So, um, I hope you found this video entertaining, helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me down a comment. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me over the last year. This channel is so much fun. Like I said, I just throw anything I feel like and I don't... It is what it is. If I can inspire or entertain one or two people, that's all I care about. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks so much for watching. Bye.